What's the most important thing, whether it's the governor's race, whether it's state house, whether it's state senate, anything pertaining to the state of Illinois, the most important thing State Senator Kwame Raul is? The most important the thing most I The most important, the numero uno. Which, should they focus on taxes? Should they focus on education? Should they focus on spending, pensions? You only get one. Tell me the most important thing for those folks out there watching you to pay attention to. Money. Uh, it, 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 and it covers all of the uh, topics you just mentioned. I mean, you can't talk about education without talking about how you're going to invest in education. And you can't talk about how you're going to invest in education without talking about where you're going to get the revenues from. And so you don't just tax for the sake of taxing. You, you, you tax because as a government, you're supposed to be providing services. And so you, you can't talk about one without the other. But don't you guys, <clears throat> I don't mean to be, I don't want to get you too riled up here, Kwame. But don't you folks down in Springfield have enough money? You just raised taxes from 3% to 5%. Well, not just. You raised it, I think, four years ago. And when I say you, I mean you Democrats, because it was only supported by the Democrats, as I recall, and the Democratic governor. And that means you were getting about, what, $7, $8 billion more a year. So you've got an influx of money of, like, over the last four years, $32 billion. Well, Isn't Jeff, that enough? Jeff, Jeff, you can look at things with, a blind, with blinders to the past, uh, to both Republican and Democrat administrations who kicked the can down the road, who went from year to year with structural deficits and say, oh, you guys have in, increased revenues in recent years, but when you credit card off of the pensions to provide services year to year, you make the public believe that you're capable of providing the services that they, they need with the income that you're bringing in, and that has not been the reality. That's the primary reason we have the pension liability that we have, and that's the primary reason. People have an idea what that pension liability is. You have a general revenue budget of about $33 billion tell people that's the bust gauge of current spending, right, for Correct. the state of Illinois, Correct. general revenue budget, Just about $32, $33 billion. And how Correct. much of it's going to pensions, pension payments, so that state employees, former state employees, current state employees, are going to have a big bundle when they retire? Well, Isn't that what it's about? They want well, a big well, bundle. Well, the, the, in, in the precise number, you know, I don't have for you, for you today. $8 but, billion. Dollars. But, eight but, bi isn't it, it's about $8 billion when you throw in health care. Um, 22, 23 percent of our current operating expenses. It is matching and, ex matching and exceeding what we're investing in educating our, our children, which is a problem. Yeah, it's a, it's a, that's the understatement of the year. <laughs> it's a problem. Why don't you just do this? But, but, but we have this. to understand how that problem was created. And we no, can't, no, no, no. Let's, we, we can't, no, we can't said, ignore that. Let's we, look no, forward. No, you can't look for you. Why can't we look forward? Because you learn from history. We only I'm, have 27 I, minutes left. Do you want to 27 minutes studying history? Or do you want to give people an idea of what we should do going forward? If you don't know what happened in the past, you, 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 you're in danger of repeating it in the future. Uh, paraphrasing. <laughs> You're, you're paraphrasing Jeff Berkowitz. No, yeah. whoever said that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so seriously, seriously, okay. You want to talk about the past? You got one minute. Go. The uh, past on pensions by the state senator Kwame Ru The past on pensions. So, you know, one of my, my, my friend, uh, the chief legal counsel for the Senate Democrats, has done the history on this. And, and this conversation on pension liability goes back to 1907. The, we the, don't the, have time. Let's go back to 1970. <laughs> but, 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 Fair the, but, 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 but the there? point, yeah, 1970. So people say when the when the framers of our uh, state constitution that was our uh, current constitution was revised and set. Well, our, right. our current right. constitution was drafted. So, and so set part out of the ar yeah. So okay. part of the argument they 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 make is that well they put this pension protection clause in there without knowing that things could. Get as bad yeah. a, a, as, hey, that's as, as true. it is. They would know. They didn't what was know. That clause? They, did, they didn't know that. Uh, what was that clause? Uh, Roughly, that, just paraphrase that it. The the relationship the, is a con the pension relationship is a contractual uh, relationship. And the benefits of which shall not be diminished. The benefits of which shall not be diminished. <clears throat> not and diminished. You can't so, cut. So, you can't so, just. So if somebody has benefits that have accrued over the last ten years, you can't say according to the constitution. Oh, you know, it turns out we can't afford this. So instead of getting X amount, you're going to get 80%. Correct. You're and saying that's unconstitutional. 
That's what the state Cor- Supreme Cor- Court Cor- is correct. likely to say. If well, you know, and there was a recent decision that seems to uh, expand. Foreshadow that. Or <laughs> foreshadow that. Whatever the legal phrase is. You know. and, and it, it, and You're a lawyer, right? I am a lawyer. You're at Crosby, right? And, and, You're a yes, counsel, right? Uh, I'm, a part, I'm a partner. I'm a partner. You're a Quirles. partner. He's, yes. uh, so he is a partner at the major law firm of Quarles and Brady. Correct. It's a, it's a major firm, large offices in Wisconsin and Chicago, in out to Ar- Arizona. Arizona and Florida. Okay. So you're a big guy. He is, folks. You should be. Look, it wasn't easy to get, for me to get a half an hour with this guy because not only is he a partner at Quarles and Brady, he's as I said a ten-year state senator, right? That's and, right. And he's a man about town. That's I mean, right. look at this guy. Right. Am I but, embarrassing you? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. it's fine. But I just want to get back to that constitution just for a minute, and then we can come okay. back to the future. People say, well, they they did not know that you, you, we would get to a point to be forty percent funded if you kind of mix the different funds. Right. Guess what? It was forty one percent funded at the time that uh, they were framing the constitution. Nineteen seventy. So they yeah. thought it would get better. But look, the short of it is this. Well, you are a lawyer. I'm glad I put this up because you might know the Uniform Commercial Code has something called 2615, which is sort of a codification of the idea that when things get commercially much more difficult than you realize, when they become commercially impracticable, you can essentially renege. It's like you're in bankruptcy state. I'm paraphrasing, but you know 2615, right? Correct. UCC. And you might know, a lot of people don't know this, but I happen to know this. In Illinois, there's a common law doctrine called the commercial impracticability doctrine that goes back at least to the turn of the century, the turn of the last century. And so somebody, and I don't think anybody's focused on this, you could argue, you could argue there's common law that says in the state of Illinois, when something becomes commercially impracticable, you don't have to perform. Well, that's that. You that, that, that I, uh, yeah, I, I understand the doctrine, we and, and I remember it the roughly. But, you know, should be considered I did in get that an context. A in contracts in law school, so uh, uh, you did. Yes, <laughs> uh, um, I'm years be, ago. I better be careful there, folks. <laughs> years ago, yeah. and that's part of the argument that um, that folks are hanging yeah. their hat on with regards to the police powers clause. It, right. they, they, they're making the argument. Meaning think, what by police th- powers? That that the state, if things get so bad that they can use their police powers to do something. Cut th- the benefits. Th- right. Cut and, the state employee and so, benefits, but, but, cut the teacher But the benefits, argument is, the a, teacher pension benefits. is akin to, 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 to u- u- using impracticability right. to, so to, it to might, make. Maybe we can The problem with maybe that is, you know, that. you have to make the argument that, you know, it's impracticable, that there, there are no other there, there, there are any might other. Be made, might be made. Don't you think you could say if, you know, it's easy for the state supreme court to say, oh, we can't change this, because they don't. They what do they run for office every ten years for retention? They're pretty solid. You, they could get removed from office. But if you're a state rep or a state senator, you guys are running, and ladies are running every two but or guess four we'll years. Get- and the people out there are not going to be so happy if you say. Four years ago, we raised your individual income tax rate from 3% to 5%, and now we're going to raise it from 5% to 8% so we can spend more on education and we can cover our pension benefits. Because you can't do both at your current levels, I don't think. No, I agree, and, I don't, I don't, I, and I'm not all, at all saying let's raise the income tax from 5 to 7 well, what, that, are, that, what are you saying, that, then? I'm saying, like many others have, have said, let's let's look at our tax code uh, altogether. Let's look at where uh, oh, let let you want to let, ta- you want to tax no, no, the rich. No, no, no. Let's 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 look. I, I certainly want to. You want to soak the rich? I, 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 no, I, I didn't say that. That you said that. <laughs> but well, but you're gonna have a I said it. License <laughs> I, I've said as I've always said that you know I think the state of Illinois should have a progressive income tax system, just like. Uh, we do at the federal level, and let just like is done in in the majority of states <clears throat> that have an income tax. Well, they don't. Some of those states don't do so well because you might point out there are ten states that have no income tax whatsoever, right? Do you realize yeah. that? Yep. And some of those states, and maybe the majority of them, are doing quite well. Texas and Florida. They Florida has crappy schools. 
I don't know. You think they're worse <laughs> yeah. than Chicago? Yes, in some well, areas I don't they think are. So. Well, uh, in, the st- in the state, the state of Illinois <coughs> is a whole lot bigger than Chicago. I'm talking about throughout Florida. Yeah. They, there's an underinvestment in the in the fundamental services that that people rely on government to provide. Education. In Florida, you're saying uh, that uh, there is. Or yeah. are you saying in Illinois now, or what are we doing? No, I, I just made a statement that, you know, as you tout Florida, while you while you live in Illinois. Yeah, yeah, and then, and, and, and then you know, they're, you know. Well, the jobs are certainly the, growing the, more the, in the, Texas the sales, and Florida. You sales. would agree with that. There are more job, there's much more job growth in Texas and Florida than there is in Illinois. Well, yeah. perhaps the fact that uh, for decades we've operated with a structural deficit and we've kicked the can down the road under uh, uh, whether it's Governor we, Thompson, we Governor have, Edgar. Um, we've, if you we've, look this up, we have a higher per capita tax revenue than almost almost all, every other state. We do not have a revenue problem. We have a spending problem in the state. Because are you going to dispute that? Because I think you will find that we our per capita taxes are among the higher levels, not the lower levels. Well, we're, 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 right we're, we're going to have to have another show where we all bring okay. our data and have that conversation. Okay. okay. We don't want to get, okay. I don't want to get off on that, but we'll, we'll sort of let that go. But I, I guess what you're saying is your solution to the pension problem is to Ray is to have a well, progressive income tax. Well, well, well. Is that, cr- did I get that right? No, you didn't get that right. Okay. Currently, there's a bill that I was a sponsor of that was passed with bipartisan support. That it's going to be ruled upon by the by the by the Supreme Court eventually, and so uh, we have to see what what happens with What's that. What's the bill? Uh, Senate Bill One. Uh, oh, the pension reform, pension reform bill. bill no, that, part of that. that okay, part that, of the solution that, is that the rating okay. agencies have said is the is, is the biggest pension reform package in, in the United States of America. A lot of, of other people who are reputable have said it's only a short-term minor fix. You know the name of the Illinois Policy Institute? Right? Oh, I don't listen to a thing they say. That, Seriously? That, that, the, the Illinois Partisan Institute? should be Insti- open. The I'm, Illinois I'm Partisan open Institute? liberal or conservative. The Illinois Partisan Institute, did the you Illinois say? Illinois Policy Institute. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Don't be... Don't be snarky here, <laughs> as Rich Miller would say, my favorite guy. Okay, you, don't be snarky. Uh, well, you know, you want... Oh, you, you want pizzazz? Oh, okay, be snarky. All right. All right. So Senate Bill 1 that passed the State House, passed the State Senate, signed by the governor, is a pension reform bill. Tell people, what does it do in essence? Um, in in the essence, essence... The major things. The major things. It, it ensures that uh, uh, the payment is... Is uh, made. Is, is, if is not, made. the unions can sue, right? It, it, well, not only that, Public sector uh, unions can sue. Th- there's an interceptor clause where you can you, you can in, 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 intercept money and make sure that the well, you can you can reach out and take money from the general revenue fund and put it into the pensions to to make sure that that, that who the, can the, do that? The, who does that? The, the, the I didn't realize that. Who does that? This is it like God sticks his hand in and takes it from one pile and puts it to the other? <laughs> no. Like well, let, me, let, me, no, no, no let me finish. Okay. So, so yeah. the right. other thing is a, the, 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 there's a, you know, there is a change, there's big money in the cost of living uh, adjustment. So there's a uh, reduction in the cost of cost living. Cost of living adjustment. Cost of living okay. adjustment. Means state employees who retire. As they're retired, their pensions will go up less because the cost of living adjustment right. for whatever they're receiving will go up at a lower rate. People may not know prior to this there was a statutory rate. No matter what the inflation level was, if it was 1%, it was going to go up 3%. If it was 2%, it would go up 3%. Right. It really wasn't a COLA, a cost of living adjustment. Now you've fixed that somewhat. You've lowered that. Okay. Right. And we put in – we've the, there's protection for – uh, uh, lower wage earners who, who um, will get a little who, bit more protection on the cola. Right. They who, require who, who who work okay. a long, a long career. And the short of it, that does what to alleviate the problem? It uh, in, the, in the big scale. Give me the in the big second. scale. The the thirty second. Uh, it, it it creates a a, a payment schedule that will get us to f- fully funded, okay. um, and. Um, it um, you know make sure over thirty years will be fully right. funded right. if we keep doing these things or something like that. Okay, and so but you do want a progressive income tax. You do want Absolutely. people that have higher incomes to pay not just more money because now they pay more money, but it's proportional. You want them to pay a higher 
tax rate. Yeah, I, I want an overall fair tax system. You call it fair. Yeah, when I call a guy it fair. Pays so because you know when we have over reliance on consumption okay. taxes, you know there's only so much you know okay. water, bottled water that everybody's going to buy, and so if 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 lower income. Uh, earners are paying a higher and percentage of their income. Do you want income. on the people earning more than a million dollars? Three percent additional. I think. I think there's a. Do you want that? I, I think there's. I as I said. It's called I, like soak the rich. I, because I, I, it's no, I, I, as I said, I, I want a progressive income tax. The same. The same. Okay. This. This. Let me, let me finish. The okay. same as we have at the federal level, and the same as we it have. Doesn't have a surtax. In, in That's what I'm asking. Some I, people I know. want a progressive. Said, you don't want no, the surtax. I want a progressive. I want us okay. to remove okay. the mandate that our okay. state constitution has on our ability. Okay. Our state can, constitution, because we were talking constitution earlier, doesn't give the legislature. Uh, the wiggle room to decide. Right. You, you have know, to amend the Constitution uh, 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 in the state uh, uh, of Illinois we have if you're going to have a progressive income tax. Yeah, we have a mandated a, flat tax. Is, you want to put that on the ballot. That's part of amending the Constitution. Let the people decide. And when would that be put on the ballot? Uh, well, as soon as we can pass a resolution on it the would take, It Assembly. would take two years later after you pass it, right? Um, so if you pass it in 2015, it wouldn't go on until 2016. Well, it has to be when there's a, the An election. The election. Okay. We can... We can we, right, we got to get through. We, so we got to we got to right, move. Let's ahead. move. Let's move. Okay. Minimum wages. We're only going to spend a minute or two on it. It's been discussed a lot. Raise a wage. You want to do that? Yeah. I don't think that. What should know. it be? What What is it now in Illinois? What is it nationally? And what should it be? What does King Kwame Rule say? Everybody should be making at least. Well, the proposal is to to raise it to I think ten dollars and the state proposal. Cents. Yes. And currently, it's how much? Uh, what is it? Eight. 825. 825. Nationally, it's 725. Illinois is already less competitive than every, everywhere else because nationally, the minimum wage is 725. But in Illinois, you must pay at least eight dollars and twenty-five yeah, cents. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, 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 you okay. can. You, and now you, you want to you, you want to make Illinois you can, less competitive. You can, you can compare the cost That's, cost of living in Illinois okay. to the cost of living in Arkansas. That doesn't make sense, Jeff. No, no, no. You know that doesn't. Well, make that's sense, why Jeff. free market forces this guy free to choose. This happens, folks, Freedom, Milton Friedman, University of Chicago, when he was there, when he was alive, free to choose. The market adjusts. If it's more costly, and you know this, people, lawyers make more in New York and in Chicago than they do in your home base for your law firm in Milwaukee because of the cost of living, okay? People are free to choose how much they pay, how much they receive, where they work. But what you want, you want to have the state intervene and say, you know, if you're a low-skilled African you know American, what I want? Let me, let me you know what I want? I okay. want people who are working their butt off to yeah. be able to provide for their family. That's yeah. what I want. So, but let me give you, I'm going to be real tough on you here, okay? And I'm going to be tough on you, I'll too. I'll be short, and then you can answer. So if you're an African American and you've gone through a crappy education, as most African Americans get in the Chicago public schools, where only 20 to 25 percent of fourth graders, black and Hispanic, at CPS, Chicago Public Schools, read at grade levels. Unless you're fortunate and you have somebody who has high enough income, like Kwame Rule, and you can send your kids to the private school of your choice. So we're going to ask Kwame if he wants to say he would like to give the kids who are poor a chance to leave the Chicago Public Schools and take the money that's not their money, but it is being Oh, spent. you want to ask me about vouchers. No, oh, I'd love to have that okay. conversation. But first, yeah. but, first, but first, I'm just saying, if you're, if you're in low income, and because you didn't get a good education and you may have dropped out, because that's probably rational if you're not learning how to read. And now you're hoping you can get a job where you might be, your marginal product might be $6 or $7. Kwame's going to help you out. He's going to raise the wage so if you're lucky enough to get a job at $10, you'll get more. But most likely, you're going to be unemployed. So you're unemployed at 10 instead of employed at 6 or 7. And that unemployment rate that we talked about for Illinois, it's going to be even higher. This is one of the reasons why Illinois has a very high unemployment rate. You know, you could have, have given a 30 set. You could give a 30-minute speech. Okay. Now your response. <laughs> My response uh, to to the question of vouchers. You, you no, no. You, go to minimum wage first, then to vouchers. 
again, on minimum wage. Address that black guy. It, it, Alex, that black guy that I I'm just un, talked about. I'm going to address a black guy, the white guy, you know, the brown different. guy. Whites on average uh, have better education. The whites at Nutria don't need your help. Yeah, but, the but black guys at CPS no, no, do let's, need your let's help. Let's make this clear. The underinvestment in education, yes, it's disproportionate in black communities, right. but, the, but, it, but, but there's been an uh, uh, underinvestment in rural communities. I've traveled the yeah. state. And, 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 and they're, focus they're, on your they're, district. And, and, it's and, not rural. And, and, no, no, I care part. about the entire state because, oh, you know, okay. cause, because, because what happens, unfortunately, if you just make it a black issue, certain people don't care about it. No, it's I, a black I care. issue. It's I a care. white issue. It's oh, a I brown care. issue. It's, it's people of all no, colors. The, the incidents that are of that, that 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 are lower income that are making maybe making the eight dollar and twenty five second cents wage that are unable to provide for their families that are going to schools that have been underinvested in because we've kicked the can down the road and we have not invested in education. It's those it's those you? people okay. who I think should be able to 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 be able to. Make an honest wage, yeah. and even ten dollars and ten Can't cents doesn't do, 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 Oh, you you had longer, you had longer. Thirty ten, seconds. Ten thousand and ten ten dollars and ten cents doesn't really okay. e even do it. These are people trying to provide for their families, and they're, I mean, they're, they're, they'll work two of these jobs, and then the over reliance on consumption taxes has it that they have they pay a higher percentage of their income towards public okay. service okay. than, than, than I mean, people who are making a whole lot more you. money. Tell people in 30 seconds some of the main areas in your district, your Senate district. Hyde Park is one area. What's that area called when we go west of Hyde Park? Um, well, it could be uh, we have Grand Boulevard. We, we we have uh, I got Woodlawn. It's both south Woodlawn, and, okay. and 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 what west, happens when you go further Washington south Park. of Hyde Park? Um, I've got uh, Grand Crossing. Actually, Remap has taken a lot of Grand Crossing out of out of my district. I've got South Shore. Yeah. I've got South Chicago. Are a um, lot of these I've areas primarily African American? Uh, yes. Primarily and, and low got, income. I've, I've got Once you get away from the Barack Obama and Michelle Obamas who lived in Hyde Park and the Kwame Rules who lived in Hyde Park, once you get to some of the what do we call some my, of the tougher where, areas where of where where, where, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, my point is, you get to my, black unemployment of like forty percent. Have you heard in talk some about of your tough? Areas, you know, you know it, it's been tough okay. enough that you know I had a drive-by shooting uh, across right. the street from my home you where uh, where, uh, where a boy that. the same age as my son concerned. was shot at a shootout at the yeah, other end of my block. That. I've got a park a block right. away from my home that I can't allow my kids to go play basketball in because there's been multiple shootings so yeah. so don't don't try to second. don't try to characterize me as uh, distant from the community well, that I we'll represent to, no but, but but as you go around your area outside of Hyde Park and we're gonna get back to your voucher rate, thing in we'll a get second. there the black unemployment rate starts really ratcheting up not 10 percent not 12 percent there are areas in your Senate district where you've got 40 percent of the blacks At Unemployed, unemployed. Absolutely. Did you get that? Absolutely. Unemployed. Because and you're going to help them by saying we must now pay them ten dollars instead of seven dollars. You think you're going to find more employers? You're going to find fewer. You're going to push the unemployment rate up from forty percent in those small areas to sixty percent. Don't you care? Don't you care? I care that when 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 uh, you put more money in people's pockets, uh, and these are people that are actually going to spend. They're not going to have a lot of. Uh, uh, disposable income to save money. It doesn't work that way. It, it, well, Trust let, me. let me finish. Let me finish. You they're going to spend. Left for the whole show. You <laughs> they, finish? They're going to spend, and that's going to gen okay. gen gen generate you more. You find an economist at the University of Chicago who says that they've got more Nobel Prize winners you know, at the University as I, well, well, as I know than you, any other place. You can go to the University of Chicago, and you could find somebody to say one thing, and you could find somebody no, to say the, you can't. the no, opposite. No, you can't. Not at no, the University of Chicago. Oh, yes, most certainly. Will you come back on the next show, and you bring me your the name of an economics professor who's gotten a Nobel Prize at the University of Chicago, and he supports you. Because I got 10 who go contra to you. Oh, Nobel Prize is the... Uh, well, you can uh, find... I don't okay. think you can find anybody at the University of Chicago. Okay, I got a, I, 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 I've, got a, I've got a former professor from the University former of Chicago professor. who's got a Nobel Prize who's a advocating for raising the minimum wage. Who's that? Barack Obama. Wait. Well, he's not a former professor in the economics gotcha. department. He's an adjunct <laughs> professor in the law school. No, we don't count. I'm talking about somebody. He in doesn't the count. Department. He's the president of the United States of America. Yeah, I don't think the, the, the American people thought enough of him Brock to send is him a there dear twice. Of mine who's did more shows on public affairs than you've done, so you've got a way to go. But you're catching up. I appreciate that. He's a dear friend of mine, but I don't think he's taken one course in economics in his life. Not one. It's a shame. Maybe if he's taken one or two, that's it. You don't. 
find somebody who's got really extensive well, training. Well, I guess the, the American people have thought okay. enough of his perspective to send him okay. to the White House twice. Let's go to education because there's a lot of debate in the governor's race. People in the hearing about did Quinn cut spending, did Quinn raise spending. It's all a bunch of crud. It's all a hullabaloo. The point is, if you want to improve the quality of education for low-income people, we don't have to give them more money or those parents because we're spending 15000 per kid per year in the CPS. Just let them take their 15000 and go to the school of their choice. Go just wherever like they want do. to go. Your kids do that. You And there's nothing wrong with that. I, I appreciate and respect that. You've worked hard for your money. You've earned it. You want your kids to do well. You sent them to the lab school at the University of Chicago. Yeah. Michelle and Barack Obama did that. Reverend Jackson did that with Jesse Jr. He sent him to St. Albans in Washington. Hey, let me tell you. I just want to give the same kind of choice right. to the is low Is this a question at the end at some point? It is. All right. So I was, do you want to join me? Do you want to join me, Kwame Raul, in giving similar choice to low-income blacks and Hispanics as you and Reverend Jackson and the Obama And I'm going to answer your question. If you can guarantee me that all of those, all of those private schools will let all of those applicants get in. Not everybody gets in. Not yeah. you don't get in just because you have the money. You, you, you got to get in. You so get you get in a better school than you're at now. That's, that's not necessary. There've been some crappy private schools that have so have, have, have average, eventually had their clo doors closed down. Let just like, and, and people say charters autom automatically the, the alternative. Let them there are go. good charters and there's some good. There's, there's some bad charter schools that need people? to have. Do their, you trust black people? It to depends make their on who the black person is. Oh. I, don't, I, I trust black and white people to have dignity and self-respect. And I think you say it's people, a choice, but it, I just told you why it's not a choice. Oh, it is a choice because they're not the they admission. The they are not the admissions. They, don't even get to go to the they, they, they are not the admissions official at those schools. Okay. Can you tell me that they will automatically get in? Then I'm with you. How do I best help these kids by blending by saying to some black kid, "Guess what? Today you get sit, you get to sit next to a white kid," or I say to some black kid or Hispanic kid. You get to go to schools that give you a hope and prospect and, yes, empirical evidence that they will do a better job of teaching you how to read. Now, what do you think that so, black or Hispanic so parent may, wants? You put a new career. Their kids learn how to read you, or their kids to sit next to a white guy? You put a new career type I high think, school. I think, the question, I think the answer is clear, folks. Yeah, you put a new career you know type. The answer. You, put, you know the yeah, answer. You know the answer. You don't want to give it to me. I'm about to give it to you yeah. if you allow me to speak. Yeah. You put a new career type high school in Inglewood, a public school with the same type of resources yeah. that new career has in Inglewood. You put that new You're career right. type a high school with the same investment yeah. in South Shore. Your argument is designed to protect your sponsors, the teachers unions, because they know that's not going to happen, so they can keep the kids in failing schools. They can keep getting the money. No. They, you change your mind. You want to get black, you change open your the mind. doors you new to new to all these black kids. If I change my mind, I can't help them. You could help them. This is what I said to Barack Obama. You want to go ahead and become president like he did? I said, Barack, you could do this. I can't, and he didn't do it. You know, it's interesting. You, Kwame Raul, could do this. I wish I could. I wish I had the power you have, because you're a man of goodwill, and I don't question that. And you're smart. And if I could change your opinion on this, you could help tens of thousands of low-income kids, and I would support you for governor of the state of Illinois. Well, I really appreciate that. So, so bring the investment into the schools right. of, in my neighborhood. And, and, and as to the teachers, yeah, I, I stand with the teachers that dedicate their lives to teaching these no, children. I stand with the kids. A, a, and then I'll go to the teachers. I stand with the kids. The kids over the teachers. And, the teachers are making seventy thousand dollars median income. And These kids are coming from parents I invite who have an income you. of like twenty thousand. No, I, who I, needs help more? I, I, the seventy thousand. I the sincerely 20, invite you to come into some of these schools and see what some of the, the challenges that these teachers have to, to deal come. with. I sincerely I invite will, you. You will, and, go, and, you will bring me in. You will yeah, come with me. Absolutely. We'll bring the camera in. Yeah, absolutely, we'll absolutely. Right. I just want to thank State Senator Kwame Rule. You're a good sport. 